Today we're gonna be looking at the rarest ways you can die. It's gonna be a little bit of an educational video today because we're gonna be checking out some situations to see if we've ever been put in these situations where something bad could have happened or after this video, hopefully some of you guys could avoid these things. Starting off with number one, car accidents. One in 5,890 people die. That's actually kind of a low number if you think about it. How do I do the calculation to see like the percentage on that? Because there's like what, seven or eight billion people on this earth and one in every like 6,000 pretty much people die from a car accident. I don't know, but that's a pretty high amount. Every 82 minutes, a pedestrian is killed in a traffic accident in the United States. Wow, that's only in the United States. That's crazy. One in 6,230 people die of liver failure. Really? Liver failure? So it's important to stay healthy, guys. I know things like this can happen to the healthiest person alive, but being healthy is the best way to try and prevent it. One in 9,666 people die of electrocution. Yeah, and I feel, I feel wrong like trying to be funny because this is like a serious topic, guys. So this might not be the funniest video, because I want to like respect, like we're talking about death here. So I'm going to be like lower energy in this video, but I thought it'd be interesting to like check this out with you guys. How do birds land on an electrical wire and not get electrocuted? I was actually literally watching a video about that today. It was a guy with like a protective mitt thingy on, like a, a guy who works on like um, telephone poles. And he was showing like, you grab it with the mitt on obviously. And then when you let go, it like sends a bunch of electrocution. Like and then I went to the comments and I was like, how, how do birds survive? Like they go on and they go off and they're fine. I don't get it. But how, what are we talking like electrocution? What are we, what are we talking here? Like, cause I'm always scared. Like, I guess like plugging things in maybe. No, that's not it. I don't know, but also some somewhat thing to do with that. I am, I have like OCD in certain things. There's some things that's like, I can sense. I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but if it's like something's like cheaply made and I have it plugged in, I like have to unplug it before I go to sleep. Cause I'm like scared it's gonna start a fire or something. I don't know if that makes any sense. One in 15,000 die of a homicide. The human being is the first most dangerous animal in the world. It's crazy, man. Like I'd say I live in a pretty safe place, but still at nighttime and stuff, like there's always, you know, like if you're walking outside at night, there's always that thought, like, just like, you gotta, you gotta be careful of your surroundings, right? You never, you never know what could happen. But I just got back from Dubai. And this is one reason why I really like Dubai. And I want to go back. It's like, there's like no, no crime, I guess. And I'm pretty sure one of the reasons is because like, for example, if the police catch you stealing something, they literally cut off your hand. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's so safe. Cause like the punishments are like really serious. But you would think even with that, someone would still do something, but no, it's like, there's like no crime. I was there for two weeks. We were walking at night outside like almost every night and like never once did it cross my mind like to look behind me like I feel like I'm in danger. Never once. It's, it's, it's crazy. One in 27,000 people die of heat stroke? Really? Many elderly people die during the summer due to high temperatures. Interesting. Make sure you guys are drinking water if you guys are outside for long periods of time. One in 38,000 people pesticide poisoning. Pesticides have been linked to cancer, Alzheimer's, ADHD, and birth defect. Pesticide? Like the stuff you spray to like remove insects, like breathing that in. Really? Is that is that what that means? One in 44,000 people die of childbirth and pregnancy. That's actually a sad one. Like you're just about to have a baby and then, you know, one in 176,000 people die of a snake bite. Approximately 6 million snake bites a year every year. I guess if it's a poisonous snake, uh, but spiders, I hate spiders even worse, but snakes, they're up there. One in 305,000 die of a dog attack. One happens every 40 seconds. The dog attacks when it feels threatened and in danger. Wait, every 40 seconds? That's a lot. And this is making me think of when I was in Dubai. Again, if you guys saw the last video, make sure you guys check out the last vlog if you didn't already. But I was at like a private zoo. Well, it's actually a rescue shelter, but it's also called a zoo, I guess. And I was petting like lions and tigers. So now this is kind of making me think of how dumb I was to um, be doing that. But it's like kind of like a experience, you know, like who pets a lion, you know? <laughs> One of 330,000 people are killed by the police. Brazil has the highest number of police killings, six times that of the USA. Brazil, why is that? Is it like more crime? Is that why? One in 508,000 people die of a train accident. You're 18 more likely to die traveling the same distance by car. I was about to say, wait, so a train is more safe? Obviously a train is more safe. A train just goes straight and then cars, you like gotta worry about everybody else like merging, do do do, stop signs, all this stuff. So I guess. One in 789,000 people die in the drought from drowning in the bathtub. It takes about five to six minutes to submerged to drown. Parents, keep an eye on your kids if they're in the bath. Tub. One in 2.8 million people die of scorpion sting? The yellow scorpion, okay, now we're getting up into the bigger numbers, but still. The yellow scorpion has the fastest attack with a speed of 100, oh, I thought it said 130 miles per hour, no, but 130 centimeters per second? 130 centimeters per second. <laughs> I don't even know how to calculate that, but okay. One in 4.2 million people die of what? Being left handed? Many left handed people die while using products designed for right handed people. Like what? I'm trying to think of a product, but I can't. Like a knife? No, you can use a knife in either hand. Driving? 
No, I don't know. One in 6.5 million people die of being scalded by hot water. That one time when I was young, my mom kept telling me like, be careful, Luke, the stove is hot. And I knew it was hot, but it was just muscle memory. Every single, okay. So we had a pantry door here and the stove was right here. And every single time, pretty much, it's just muscle memory. I would like open the, open the pantry, look inside and like rest my head on the stove, just looking. And one time I decided to do that, even though my mom said it was hot and boom. <laughs> And like that hurts so bad. I can't even imagine how much this would hurt. Burns caused by hot water can approximately cause approximately 100 deaths per year in the United States alone. Can't be from like hot showers. So like what is like cooking? I don't know. One in 11 million deaths are due to radiation poisoning. Indirectly, radiation can kill many people, especially through cancer. See, that's a scary one. Like there's so much things out there that cause radiation, like microwaves, your phone. I honestly was about like when I got my AirPods a long, long time ago, I was about to not get them because I was like, I'm super like, again, it's like OCD, I guess, kind of. I get scared about lots of things. Like, like I said, like leaving in something plugged in overnight, I'm sure it would be fine. But I just had this thought in my mind that like, what happens if it like somehow caused fire? So I like have to unplug it. Same thing with this. I'm like, but, like what happens? Like the radiation in my ear from wireless earplugs or headphones. So when I was about to get my AirPods, like when they first came out, I was doing a bunch of research and stuff and I almost didn't get them. But then it was like holding up your phone for like five minutes or something like being on the phone for five minutes which i've done multiple times before is like way 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 worse for radiation than wearing ear like airpods or like wireless headphones for like years so i was like okay 150 million people die of a volcanic eruption there are more than 500 active volcanoes in the world be careful i was in costa rica at a volcano but i don't think that one was active or was it? That was a beautiful place as well. One in 16 million deaths are from an attack of a hippopotamus. They're aggressive and have very sharp teeth that can crush a human to death. Well, those things weigh like, they weigh a few ton, don't they? Like literally a few ton. So yeah. Oh, here we go. One in 18 million people die of a plane crash. For the longest time, I was so scared of like planes, like because I didn't want them to crash. But then if you like take it into account, like literally the first one, it was the first one, right? Like the highest chance is of a car crash. And this is one in 18 million. The other one was one in a couple thousand. And I was so scared skydiving, right? Yeah, that's why I didn't Dubai. Again, Dubai, skydiving. And I think literally your chances of dying in a plane crash, which are super rare, is still higher than dying from skydiving. And when we went to Dubai, quick little story, this will take like 15 seconds, maybe a bit longer. But when we went to Dubai, I was like, nah, -uh, not skydiving, never ever gonna do that. Why would I wanna jump out of a plane for fun? But Brandon Connor, the guys that I went with, they convinced me because they were like, yeah, man, let's do it. Da, da, da. And I was still like, nah, -uh, never, not, not gonna do that. I'll stay at home. You guys go do that. Have fun. I'll watch from the ground. But then I realized that no, you'd be jumping with someone, attach them, and they would do all the work. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's not as bad. I mean, it's still bad. You're jumping out of a plane. What could happen? Then I searched up, like, what are the chances of dying? Your chances of dying from skydiving is like 0 0.0005 or something like that. And I was like, oh, it was pretty safe. And I searched up that location, skydive Dubai, like deaths in the past, just to see. And I think there's one in 2016 and that was it. Just the one. So I was like, okay, my chances of survival are pretty good. I was still scared though. So I searched up a bunch more YouTube videos of people jumping out and stuff. And I was like, oh, these actors are doing it and stuff. I was like, eh, fine, I'll do it. But still, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. Like my heart was going boom, 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 boom. Like the day before the day of, and we'll be we going on a plane. That was even more scary. Cause I wasn't even, I'm was speaking fast though, but I wasn't even attached to the guy when we get, went up the plane, the door was open. I was like, bro, are you gonna get attached to me or what's going on? And then yeah, he attached me, put on my goggles. And we jumped and I was like, oh, Again, if you guys want to see that jump, link in the description, first link, or maybe I'll put it up on a card here too, a Dubai vlog. I also got attacked by a monkey in that vlog, so check, check it out. One in 21 million deaths are from the electric chair? China is the world's leading perpetrator, but the real numbers of death is a state secret. Oh? One in 32 million people die of an autoerotic auto asphyxiation? For some, oxygen deprivation is the preferred erotic practice. Wait, what? Preferred erotic practice? Doesn't that mean like, for your own pleasure? Or am I like way off? So people are doing that because they like it? Wait, one in 48 million people die from being struck by lightning. Only about 12% of people struck by lightning die. That would be insane to like, just feel like, what does that even feel like? Like you just, one in 53 million people die from being hit by a coconut? Coconut trees can grow up to 25 to 30 meters high. Coconuts would go super, super fast. That's true. If it's that hell, that could hurt. Okay guys, see, you're learning. Do not go underneath a coconut tree. One in 64 million people die of being the victim of a serial killer. They're believed to be approximately 50 active serial killers. What? In the United States? I'm in Canada. Just kidding guys. I shouldn't be joking. I'm sorry. This is a serious topic. So yes. One in 79 billion people die of chewing on pen caps. Wait, I've done that before. That's why pen caps have holes. Oh, they meant like from choking. I thought you meant just going in. I was like, what? But did you guys know that? So like the pen caps, I don't think I have any close to me, but like you got a pen, take off the cap to use it, to put it back on. They have like a little like see-through, not see-through, like opening at the top. 
And that's because if like a child or you accidentally swallows it and starts choking, you'll still be able to breathe because that little hole is there so air can get in. Smart. One in 134 million people die from being stung by bees. The lethal number of stings is between 700 and 1,000, unless you're allergic, obviously. How do I know if I'm allergic? I mean, I guess I could test it, but have I ever been stung by a bee? I don't think so. So what if I am allergic? One in 169 million people die from lethal injection. 58 countries in the world and 35 states in the United States have a death penalty. One in 348 million people die of an attack of a cow? You can find cows almost everywhere and they are not always friendly. Really? I guess we are looking at the rarest deaths, so. One in 648 million from eating raw oysters. I had one oyster when I was in LA. First time in LA. This was, I went there for VidCon and I was not a fan. Raw oysters may contain Vibrio, Vibrio? A bacteria that could causes 100 deaths a year. I guess it's not a bad thing that I don't like oysters. One in 763 million people die from a shark attack. See, oh, I also have a big fear of sharks. I have a big fear of like the ocean. When you like cannot see what's below you in the ocean. That's like scary to me. Even in lakes with fish. I just, I don't know. There's something about it. Like you just look down and it's dark. You don't know what's underneath you. But yeah, like your chances of dying in a plane crash were like what? One in 18 million, which is still super rare. And this is one in 700 million. So this is even more like way, way, way more rare, but it's still scary to me. One in 890 million people die from being strangled by their tie. Your tie? Really? One in 2.2 billion. So what? This is like six people in the world pooping too hard. Fatal cardiac events can occur following excessive exertion. Guys, maybe I should cool it down then because again, I can't, I should be laughing, but I have this thing. I have to take my morning vacation. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I've actually said this before, but should I even be like saying this stuff on the internet? This is like personal info, but guys, it's like a thing. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't have to, but I like, I at least, tr I at least try before leaving the house every morning. Like if I'm going somewhere, because I hate using public bathrooms for number two. I just, I hate it. So like, if I can, I'll save it until, until I get home. But I try every single morning. Like, usually I can go every morning. Like, it's like muscle memory. Like, I wake up and I'm like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> okay, this is too much info. I'm just gonna stop talking. One in 6.3 billion people trampled by people. This happened during football matches due to too many people crowded in the stands. Then that also happened at like a Travis Scott concert. One in 17 billion people die from drinking too much water. Really? Too much water in our cells, including brain cells, can cause them to swell. Can't not drink water, can't drink too much? Come on. One in 42 billion, wait. So this is less than one in the world. This is like, what, 0.2%? Wait, 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 wait. 0 0.2 in 8 billion. How's that even a stat then? Not even one person in the world? Because there's only 8 billion people. How does that even work? Are impaled by a swordfish. They can jump out of the water and use their so wait so if you're just chilling in a boat they could go one is 70 okay now we're just getting into the weird things one is 77 billion killed by a robot in the united states a self-driving car oh that type of robot hit and killed the woman during a test okay then why is it 77 billion it should be one in eight billion if one person has actually d died from this brushing your teeth a man has died after mistaking a tube of rat poison oh well then that's not really brushing your teeth laughing too hard laughing too much can cause cardiac arrest or asphyxiation okay there's been some points where literally i say laughing so hard i mean not to this point but like just before this point it's like one of the best feelings ever guys you know what i mean it's like your stomach starts to hurt and you just cannot stop when was the last time i had a good laugh like that i had a good laugh in costa rica the reason we laughed was the stupidest thing ever but um, if I tell you, you guys won't find it funny at all. So I'm, I'm just going to continue with the video. One in almost a trillion hit by a child? What? The chances are very low, but never completely zero? What is the worst death? Write it in the comments and leave a like. I guess if you guys want to do that, drop a comment. Smash the like button though. This is a little, a bit of a different video. I didn't have as high energy. Other than when I was telling this story, speaking fast like this, and because it was kind of a low energy video, I got to make it up by speaking fast. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe if you're not already, turn post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.